This morning in Show and Tell with Tony, we meet local radio host Krista Wessel, who shares the instrument that sparked her passion for music and the TV theme song that got her hooked. So my guest today is Krista Wessel. Krista has been an on-air host here at All Classical Portland since 2007. That's right. Yeah. But your roots with classical music go way back before that, and you appear to have the French horn to prove it. So tell me about this little instrument. This is a Yamaha French horn. Uh -huh. I started playing French horn when I was 12 years old. So you've kind of grown up with this. Yes, I loved it immediately. You loved it immediately. And I was kind of good at it immediately. So really? that, that helps when you're a kid being good at something. Was there a French horn? piece of music that you heard that you kind of that sounds what you wanted to get to or was it just random the opening notes from the little house on the prairie theme song really ba -da -da. Okay. what do you love about the presentation of this music specifically I love the fact that I'm connecting on a really kind of intimate level yeah. with people. I also love hearing from people who said, I didn't even know I liked classical music. Then I tuned in to All Classical Portland, and you guys feel like friends. You feel like yeah. home. Yeah. And so that kind of feedback, that kind of warmth is really satisfying. Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 6 depicts a party. When you think about classical music, I think for a lot of folks, it can seem in intimidating. Um, how do you make it accessible? How do you invite them in? Laughter, yeah. fun, <laughs> having an uplifting attitude, yeah. because this music is joyful. Are you a naturally positive person? Yes. Is that, is that <laughs> this who you are? You can't help it. Well, even if I'm having a kind of a glum day, when I come to work and I listen to this music and I get to express my love of this music, it turns my mood around. And I'd like to think that that's what our listeners feel too. Like maybe you're not having a great day, but you tune on 89.9 and suddenly there's a joyful presentation about glorious music and then all the cares drift away. Coming up next is the Overture Suite in D for hunting horns. I love telling their stories about their favorite pieces of music. So maybe yeah. it is the Moonlight Sonata for you. Why is that right. important? I yeah. love sharing your favorite piece of music and your story about why it's important to you. You really are a storyteller at mm. heart. Would you not agree with that? Yeah, I'd yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Um, is there something in your musical collection that would surprise listeners of classical music. I'm a huge Talking Heads fan. You remember wow. that band oh, from gosh, the 70s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I even have a tattoo on my ankle to prove it. I noticed you did not put the mouthpiece <laughs> on the French horn since you were a teen. I haven't practiced for a okay. while, so I'm not going to play right. that way. You're off the hook. So wonderful to meet you. <laughs> thank you, And Tony. now that I've met you, your show will be even that much more fun to listen I to. I appreciate so it. Thank, thank you. you. Krista. What a neat person, mm -hmm. and it makes me want to listen now. Yeah. So when can yeah. people hear her? Uh, she is on uh, most weekdays, 2 to 6, and she mentioned telling the story. So she does a thing called uh, 5 O'Clock Favorites, where listeners write in about a piece of music that is meaningful to them. Oh, and so she'll still share that. their story and then play the music. Uh, but like last week, there was one about like this grandma who introduced the granddaughter to this thing. And I'm like going, OK, <laughs> <laughs> I, you just play it, just play it. <laughs> I get it. So but, I mean, neat. it's so fun. It makes the music really sort of come to life. Yeah, think, and you so. know, we all know, right, the studies have shown classical music is just yeah. so good for us, so good yeah. for our brains, mm -hmm. good for, yeah. so the, the fact that that gets to be her job and yeah. she gets to listen and learn. And, and commercial free, we're so that. lucky to have that asset wow. right here in Portland. So You, you are it. so right. Really and if great. you play the French horn, isn't your hand like inside? Uh, I don't know. It's, so a it's a twisted like trumpet. A, it's like a hand warmer. <laughs> yeah, it keeps your hand warm while go. you're playing. And this one's, yeah, yeah. You didn't get that far. Okay. Well, see, that's why I don't do these things, because that's a stupid question. Let's. Let's go right now.